Hospitals to airlines, worker shortages have hit a new record this past month. Almost 9 million people were not working because they had COVID-19 or were taking care of someone with the virus. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno is here. Lauren, these are the highest numbers we've seen since the pandemic began. I, I mean, Joy, they're pretty staggering. So between December 29th and January 10th, 8.8 million workers called out sick, triple the numbers from just a month ago, and this variant has proved nobody is immune from getting sick. Amanda Hayes made it nearly two years before COVID hit her household. My littlest son, he came home from school early, sick, and I thought, uh-oh, here we go. What started with her son testing positive turned into a vaccinated and boosted Amanda getting sick which has meant almost two weeks away from her job at the hospital. Being out has been hard, though, because, you know, not only am I here and I'm caring for sick children, but I'm missing work and I'm stressed out about getting back to work at the hospital. And Hayes is not surprised to hear she is just one of nine million people who are in the same situation. Everybody I feel like I talk to is out with COVID. To put this in perspective, the last time the numbers were this high was over last January's peak of 6.6 .6 million workers out. And this new high of almost nine million people represents about 6% of the workforce. I know that they need the help. I know I need to be there but I also need to be here. So it's a it's a stressful push and pull, if you will. And every industry seems to be taking a hit. Delta Airlines said in the last four weeks, 8,000 of its employees got the virus. And as for Hayes, she says she's just ready to get back to work. I'm Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.